When it comes down to it, Popper is truly just a format of combat math, right? It's a format that's won or lost on the battlefield and in a way where you need to make sure you're maximizing the tools that you have at your resources, bringing back creatures, using your combat tricks effectively. I mean, Bogles and Mono White Heroic are actually competitive archetypes in the format, so combat is really important. And what I really like about it, especially in Eternal formats, you tend to be able to use resources that don't exist in other constructed formats like Modern, Pioneer, Standard. You get access to cards that take advantage of very underutilized steps in combat. So we have the beginning of combat, declare attackers, declare blockers, damage, and the end of combat. Most combat tricks deal with the declare attackers, you get an attack trigger, or the declare uh, declare blockers, you block and then you create a plus one plus one effect and you know the combat math works out in your favor. A lot of things live or die in those two steps. But in Popper, we have some fun things that happen, especially in decks like Turbo Fog, where you can take advantage of one of the most interesting lands ever printed in the game's history desert where the second activated ability takes place at the end of combat so your opponent gets their attack triggers they get their block triggers whatever that might be they deal their damage to you and then after the dust clears you are able to deal one damage to an attacking creature on that end of combat step now in turbo fog you get to subside a lot of these effects where your opponent goes for an attack you can fog them with the moment's piece of fog a tangle whatever it might be and then you can tangle with the likes of 1-1s. One and if you have four of them, you can tangle with the likes of Mur Enforcers. Heck, even with a gunshot, you might even kill a Gurmag Angler. There's a lot of promise to a land like this. And in the games you'll see coming up, I think the showcase for this card is exceptional. A lot of people are curious as to how this card's even good. But once you see it in action and understand how you can take advantage of it, it tends to be, honestly, a cornerstone of the deck. Enjoy the games. Still on the Turbo Fog grind, just trying to make sure I'm learning the deck to the best of my ability. I think this hand can work. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. So we're gonna go Thornwood into Island, Growth Spiral, Simic Growth Chamber. Like we ramp out pretty well here. Um, some type of affinity. I mean, Great Furnace is such a unanimous card these days, thanks to something like Deadly Dispute that, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just gain life and be on our way. Now, an astute popper player might realize that they are playing against... Ooh, this might just be Rakdos Sack. Oh my god, was I right? Oh, wow. Wow, I actually called it right off the bat. Okay, all right, in that case, I think we're pretty well suited for this. So let's just Growth Spiral... I don't think I'm going to need to defend much. It might actually be Goblin's combo too. It, it could just be that. Which is going to be a little tough because they do have... I believe the way the combo works in this deck is they do have an ETB... Um, yeah, they do have an ETB effect. Do that. They do have an ETB effect that like gets past like combat damage. That's not how they're trying to win. I'm um, just gonna look up the deck here. Yeah, so it's like the Putrid Goblin. Yeah, it's like it's something to do with Putrid Goblin. That's that's what this is. So okay, and then like they can create a crazy amount of mana. Probably just win with that. Okay, cool. All right, so we have to be careful. It, I mean. To be fair, like by the looks of it so far, it could just be mono red, but they could just swap into black like pretty quickly. Uh, they, they might just not have the pieces they need here. So in that case, I'm going to go Thornwood Falls. And then like piece to the puzzle. And that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six. That gives me eight cards in hand. We're just going to pass. One thing I need to work on 100% is my ability to play this deck a little bit faster. Okay. What are they gonna play? Uh, hopefully this is just like mono red aggro. That'd be nice. Ooh, okay, so it kind of seems like it is. Like, cause I don't think the deck, I'm, I have like a list up beside me. I don't think the, the black red, or it's kind of like John, I guess, yeah. The black red splash green goblin deck plays 
like that much. Yeah, so that's fine. If their plan is to just attack me like this, that's fine. The one thing I have to be truly worried about is stuff like Lightning Bolt and... Um, Yeah, so sorry. Stuff like Lightning Bolt. And... Ooh. Yeah, well. Gotta be those. Then we're gonna go... Simic Grow Chamber. Touch on the Thornwood Falls. And then Preordain... My... Yeah, Preordain here. Ooh. Uh, put on top. Put on top. And then we'll just pass through. So you gotta discard two cards, alright? Let's go uh piece to the puzzle land. We'll keep the rest. To be fair, I could just discard the stream of thought. Um I don't think but like it's fine. We're drawing two stream of thoughts anyway. Okay, so at this point I'm gonna need to start fogging. Oh, that's nice. So we're gonna go. Put on top, put on top. Okay, at this point we can start fogging off. The big thing we have to be ready for is truly just, um, again, like like lightning bolts, uh, galvanic blasts. Uh, so far, you know, they're not going to be at that point of galvanic blasting. So use up this fog. That's why I lose that mana. So no damage there. Thornwood falls. Let's stream of thought here. We'll go, we'll stream of thought once. Okay. One, two, three. Right. Definitely making sure I'm counting my stuff properly. Same targets. Okay. And we are going to return fog, growth spiral. Um, yeah, probably just fog growth spiral. Yeah, fog growth spiral. Like I have my I have my second one to, to go there. And then just pass through. I don't even think I want my preordain necessarily. Like I have arcane denial to do like funky stuff. So now they're 39 cards, they're less cards than us, they're gonna unearth. Oh, I didn't even realize like what they're doing here. I, I mill them over. So Apostle's Blessing. This looks like okay, so it is Rakdos Sack. Okay, so I was right originally, this isn't goblins. Like, this is some weird version of Rakdos Sack, truly. Okay, so we will just pass through. I will accumulate it knowledge, then fog. Sure. Ooh, Cold Ultra Rebirth. They definitely want to cast that. Sack this. See if they can just keep casting through, 100%. Yeah, this fog is going to be constantly required. The the other card that I'm actually worried about, so the reason I really want to hold up this Arcane Denial is something like Makeshift Munitions, where they're going to sack a bunch of creatures and then just go off that way. I really have to be careful of a card like that because I can't really fog that. Okay, we will Moments Peace then. It's fine. Sucks that we're only at these, like, kind of draw ones. Put at the bottom. Put on top. Play that for land per turn. And then we can... We'll pass through. We'll pass through. I don't need to do anything right now. Big thing, again, just making sure I have the mana to Arcane Denial, the makeshift mun munitions that they may or not may not play. That's fine. Okay. Just thinking play that. So did I get any lightning bolts or things? No, I did not. I wonder if they will attack here, because I will start like pinging away at their stuff if they do. Yeah. Okay, so in that case, we will definitely moments peace. Right. Right. Go to end of combat. And then. Oh, that's damage. Go to end of combat, ping one of these. 
Perfect. Desert is powerful. Desert is powerful, turns out. So I think we can piece of the puzzle here. Create some like graveyard fodder for us to shuffle back in. Oh, yes. Okay, so we will. Oh, wow. Uh, there's a lot I want here. Uh, wow, there's a lot I want here. So uh, fog weather. So you don't exactly need growth spiral at this moment. I think I will just throw out a stream of thought. Um, zero. And then we will return. So stream, fog, weather. Stream, fog, weather, probably like preordain. Ah, uh, we don't need preordain. Ah, uh, we do. We need some draw spells. I'll shuffle those back in. Okay. So, I mean, as long as we play this tight, we should be fine. They have a lot more time than us, but I just need to play this fast. That's all this is. Uh, carrying feet is fine. Just gonna be able to counter the right thing. Bolt is fine. What I will do here, use my mana efficiently. I will moments piece. A moment's piece, and then we'll pass through. We'll go until their end step for weather the storm. Yep, another one of those. Go to end step, and then weather the storm. Get a bunch of life. That's it. Perfect. Okay, arc in denial is cool. I kind of want it. I don't know. I, I want to stay high, like high above. The problem is at this moment, yeah. Like I, I need to start like arcane denialing stuff. Like the the big move that I, I maybe could have waited for was you can arcane denial your own weather storm copies to just lay straight up just draw three cards. Um, so that's that's one way to do it. So they're gonna cycle that, which is good. That's one card deeper. Yeah, this is just like straight up a version of Rexac. It's cool. Check out my latest popper video that I put out before this talking about how this is actually a pretty cool deck to try out and play. Undo. Let's go to damage, let's go to combat, and then we will keep pinging these away. That's nice. Okay, so that that's something. So what I can do here is, that's good. So what I can do here is I can cast Moments Piece to Fog, then cast Weather Storm. Okay, and they're just going to add to it. Perfect. So I can cast Moments Piece to Fog, Weather the Storm, Arcane Denial a copy to just draw three cards, and then on next turn, I'm just drawing four cards. So that should be pretty powerful. And we just, we just need to keep doing this. Now that, now that we're at like a relatively healthy life total... And then we need one more. And then end of combat. Kill that. The reason I'm not targeting the carrying feeder is they can like uh, thing to make it bigger. So I do want to be careful of that. We're going to weather. Right, we're going to Arcane Denial a copy of it. And so the way Arcane Denial works is I draw a card, but then the controller of the of the card that I countered draws two cards as well. So I'm just drawing three cards, if that was not obvious. I'm literally just drawing three cards. So on, on my turn, as I mentioned, I'm going to be drawing four cards. So that is good. I definitely need to draw through some cards. Yes. Yes. 100, 110%. Yes. There you... Oof. We are drawing gas. We are drawing gas. Okay, so in this case, we don't have a fog, which is the problem. Okay, so I will operate on their turn. I will operate on their turn. I might be able to get a big weather going. 
I love it. They just need to keep casting spells. Yep. Okay, let him attack. Yep, we're going to impulse. See what we can find. For a moment's peace. Thank you. 100%. Any order. Perfect. Then we're going to... Moments piece. Then we're gonna pass through. And then end of combat, ping something through. Yeah, I, I I'm sorry folks. This is it. This this is that popper mill right here. You you make them you make them hate you for playing this. You make them hate you for playing this. So weather the storm, get three copies. We're just gonna draw four cards again. So I'm being a little bit aggressive with my with my um, things, but I do need to I do need to um, get the I do need to find a win condition here. So I have a I have a moments piece in that yes, and then okay, draw the cards, draw all the cards. Oh, tangle so good. Tangle is so good. Okay, so in that case, what we can do is I can stream of thought for one, two. It's, it's safe to do it for just two, truthfully. So here, one, two, one thing. Same targets. Okay. And here, we're going to return uh, fog weather an arcane denial and i think that's it uh do we have another yeah we have another stream of thought so return that okay keep it the same we're at 17 and uh yeah i don't i don't need to, i don't see the need to use up any more mana i don't think like i'm gonna tangle here so yeah, i mean why not i i will preordain Oh, put on top, put on top, play a desert per turn. There you go. Okay. Now we're killing two things a turn. Now we're killing two things a turn. Okay. We are, we are whittling them down. We are whittling them down. They're at 16 cards. We are almost at that lethal point. And I, and I love it. Look, they're just drawing more cards. Yes. Get, get me lethal even sooner. Get me lethal even sooner. So the things I have to look out for, they probably have four lightning bolts. That That's definitely a thing. Oh. Okay, no, but that's not like a makeshift munitions. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Thankfully, like, I, I drew my wilt, which, which can help with that. But not exactly. You know what I mean? Not exactly. So if you swing all... Perfect. I will tangle. The problem is the tangle doesn't exactly work against the vigilance creature, but that's fine. Not a problem to me. Not a problem to me. We're going to keep going and then hit that and then hit that. Perfect. Nice. Uh, so we'll do that on their turn. So right now, can I stream for lethal? So I need one more turn and then I can stream for lethal. So one, two, uh, that's one copy, two copy, three copy. So I can stream for lethal next turn, which I will do. I can stream for lethal next turn. Because each stream mills four cards. They're now at 12. And then I can do that next turn. Perfect. Uh, so we should have, we should just have GG's here. Yep, we're gonna moments piece. Yeah, I don't need to do anything complicated here. Perfect. And then we're gonna stream a thought. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine mana. Which is what I need. Okay. Yep, 
replicate for that many copies, same targets, same targets. No need to shuffle anything back in. GG's. All right, cool. There you go. A little bit of turbo fog, a little bit of milling, a little bit of mill to win, a little bit of mill to win, a little bit of mill to win. Okay. Begin sideboarding. The most miserable experience of your entire life. Okay, so we definitely want the desert in there. Uh, we will pop away an island, I guess. Uh, hydro blast all around for sure. Yeah, hydro blast all around. This isn't really a matchup where we need to bring in another stream of thought. So we'll shave a piece. Um, I think we will drop wilt. We could keep wilt. They have like artifacts. I just don't know if that's like what we need to fight them on. This is destroy. It's control against for life. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if this is exactly. Yeah, I don't think this is the game where we need to play that. Uh, I think we can drop accumulated knowledge and another piece. I think, I think this is how we board because this is a little too slow. Piece is a little too slow, but it does help us dig. So I don't want to lose all copies of it. So maybe the other impulse, um, there is a level of keeping the weathers, but you know what? I have hydro blast, so I will drop a weather and I will play it like that. Yeah, this is a Hydro Blast matchup. I don't think this is a Gutshot matchup. I think, so Gutshot, in, in, in my opinion, I believe, in my limited deck experience opinion, is for specifically the Delver matchup, where you need to kill that turn one threat. Um, this is a mulligan. Wow, this is also a mulligan. Okay. Gross Chamber. Weather. So we're going to get out desert like ASAP. Maybe not. Okay, I can get out of Thornwood Falls. Good. I can I can, I can just get out my colored mana. That's what's important. Oh, and I can get fancy too because I can then play forest when they attack. Instant speed, growth spiral in a desert. Come on. Fancy schmancy. Fancy schmancy. I can get fancy schmancy. Cool. The problem is his body dropper is going to get a little bit big. I was, I was hoping they would play like other threats, but that's fine. Body dropper though, to sack a creature, you do need to, uh, you, d you do need to pay mana. So there's that. Oof, pain. All right. Let him go to combat. Let him go to combat. You'll probably attack. I think it's got to be to an attacking creature, right? Yeah, I can't just like kill these right now, which is the annoying thing. Okay. Yeah, their board's getting a little bigger than I want, want it to. So let's get all of our deserts out. Truly, let's get all of our deserts out. Uh, they're going to sack that for sure. Right, they're going to pay to sack this. Um, this doesn't have a thing restriction. Yeah, timing restriction. Uh, what did they sack that to? Why did they just let that go? I don't understand. Why didn't they just... Okay. I, I guess they're playing other stuff, but like... I mean, the value is there. Why not? Right? The value is there. Why not? Sure. Uh, what do you got for me? Another one. Okay, yeah. So this is going to be a matter of trying to find all the all all the things that I need. It's gonna. It, it's kind of sucks too. I'm like super down on resources. What's nice though is my hydro blast are going to be super useful here. I don't think I need to like do anything here. I'll just take the damage, and then I will. So they can't pay to sack anything at instant speed. So this is like a pretty big opening for them. Yeah, this is a pretty big opening for them. So I'm going to be able to do this. I can kill that beetle. 
So that was kind of a mistake on their end because they they can't they don't have a sack outlet. They can't pay two mana um to do that. So that's pretty big. Be able to kill that. Okay. Play the other desert. At this point, we're probably playing moments piece. Right? Unfortunately, body dropper is gonna grow outside of our desert range. Um, so we're just gonna have to hydroblast it, which is good, right? Like it's still red, still dies to hydroblast, and that is fine. So they'll attack with the other goblins. We will we will probably just kill them all. Probably. And we will moments peace. But you you can see how like how powerful. Oh my god, they find another experimental. You can see how powerful like desert is, right? Like this is this is the matchup where where desert shines. This is the type of matchup where desert shines and it really buys you some level of turns. So that's really nice. Okay, so we're going to take 3 here. That's fine. Would love to find a weather the storm. Okay. Oh my lord. Okay. I don't even know if I want to thing that. I do have moments, so I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay. So attack through. Sucks. This is a 4 4 now. Ah, oh, sucks. It's a 4 4 now. I just need, I need like card drop. Because I need to find my fogs at this point. Like. I don't know. Am I like stream of thoughting myself to find more moments pieces? You know what I mean? I would also really like a weather the storm so that I can arcane denial and just draw a bunch of cards, but it's getting to that precarious point. So they might even just swing in with just the body, which is, which would be smart on their side. Okay. I guess not. So we will fog, right? Don't want to get too crazy here, right? And then end of combat, we are one. And then two. Knowing that we can, again, uh, uh, people have asked me this. You can only kill the attacking creatures. Desert is very restrictive. It'd be a much more powerful card if you could do more with it. Trust me. Trust me, trust me. Truly? Oh, I don't even know. I kind of just want to, like... Arcane deny my accumulated knowledge. Oh my lord. Okay. It's just so much value. It's it's so good. Like this is what I mean. Like the the artifact engine is is so good in this format. The artifact engine is so good in this format. Okay. Yeah, they are just drawing synthesizers off the wall. Sue. Okay. All right. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of need to like kill stuff. That that's the problem here. I kind of need to kill stuff, so I will, I will moments piece, right, and then I will kill as many of those goblins as I can, right. I have to keep those down. I have to keep these things down. Hopefully, at some point they just can't catch up, right. That's that's the goal here. Oh lord. Duh. Nah. Nah, that might be... They can, like, sack twice. Make this a 5-5... Five, five, a 6-6. Six, six, and they have lethal. Oh, I lost. That's GG. I got nothing. Alright, go to next game. Oh, the deserts couldn't keep up. The deserts couldn't keep up. Also, we were like, we were like really low on resources to be fair. Yeah, I, I don't think I need to bring anything else in. Um, we were really low on resources um, to be fair. We might even shave. I don't know. Is nature's, are nature's claims worth it? I don't think so. Just to kill like half of their lands? I don't know. Yeah, but... I don't think Dispel is good either because it doesn't hit everything. I don't think so. I don't think I can keep this hand. This hand's really fishy. Oh, come on. The deck is really going to send me to a mull into oblivion, eh? Okay, so mulligan. Okay, yeah. It's better than nothing, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to keep this. 
I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna drop a frantic inventory. And a frantic inventory, I think. Yeah, because I, I just have to like keep all three of my lands here. All of them are useful, right? Like all of them are useful. Like I have like, I'll, I'll have all my basic colors to cast my fog, cast my hydroblasts and then desert, whatever they play first, right? This sucks. This really, like, really and truly sucks. Okay, I, I can at least get a frantic inventory going. Hopefully, I can draw multiple frantics, multiple uh, accumulateds, and we just take it from there. Fingers crossed. Ooh. Okay, yeah, and the hill spell bomb. That's going to be good against us. That is going to be good against us. Okay, nice. Simic. Mounts that. Yeah. Okay, so we only have the Wilt against this. I figured, like, they would only have, like, two copies of this or something, and it's not, like, extremely worth it to, to bring it in, but they just had it. They just had it. Sure. We just gotta run our fogs, I guess. Sure. Yeah, now they just have like a free sack outlet. This is this is this is where the problems begin. This is where the problems begin. Yup, play that out. Yup. Yup. We're gonna moments. Peace that. Don't have anything better to do with my mana. I might even just like throw this out there, like the nail spell bomb. Sure. Yeah, I can't even do anything here. Okay, always yield, always yield, always yield, always yield. You can't do anything about it. Yeah, the like the slider's gonna grow. Yeah, I mean this is this is tough. This is tough. This might just be an L. I've just I I'm mulligan to oblivion. I'm mulligan to oblivion. That's just the truth of the matter here. And if they just activate their nihil, like there's no point in me using it, so Okay, so I've enough. Uh, I'd rather play this out. That way I have enough to do both if I need to. Oh, I think my recording cut out there, but like, okay, yeah. So, I mean, we're just going to concede here. Just call it the game, but that is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, more bad luck. More bad luck. 